Hello guys, um, sorry about the weird angle again. Um, today I would like to show you guys a new video. Basically uh, a bit of a tutorial maybe, like a basic how to um, make a, like how to wrap your puttees for any, any, uh, any soldier from the First World War basically. Uh, first of all, uh, for people who don't know what a puttee is, it's basically a leg wrap that soldiers from all armies usually wrap their legs. Um, but during the beginning of the war, the soldiers of um, Russia, Imperial Russia and uh, Imperial Germany weren't actually wearing these. To be fair, the German uh, Mountain Corps I think were issued with these but it was for small numbers uh, during late 1915 early 1916 with the leather shortages um, the German army decided to adapt a new type again actually this footwear was being used before the war but they issued a new order for most of the troops to be equipped with these basic low boots these sadly are not actual World War One boots they're just placeholders until I get uh, some British ammo boots that I can use as German ones because most of the time Germans were actually kind of copied the same design or the sh or they like um, taken from the uh, either the dead or the prisoners even that is uh, accounted in especially by Turkish soldiers who said uh, they've taken shoes from the dead and the the prisoners who weren't needing them anymore basically um, yeah uh, so basically in order to tie your puttees I know it's going to be a weird angle I'm just gonna First of all, you need to, of course, wear your shoes or your boots. And what I usually do is tuck my my laces in and use my sock to basically put the my uh, trousers in. Uh, to be fair, this wasn't really done, but while you're wearing jack boots, actually, there are documented cases of soldiers doing this. You weren't supposed to do it, but still. Ooh, this is late war, nobody actually kind of cares anymore. Um, what you do is basically, how I do it is actually basically crisscross technique. As you can see right here, there are special crisscrosses. To do this, it's actually kind of easy, but you need to get used to wrapping it around normally. Uh, with these replica putties, I bought, bought these from Soldier of Fortune. Uh, they're not the proper fabric, so you need to kind of wiggle around a bit to get the proper shape to fit onto your calves. Because if you don't do it like this, there are going to be little places where this starts to fall off. With this, it's more suitable for longer use. So, when you have done this, basically, this is the easiest way to do it, you start you start wrapping it around at the first layer, layer. and it this also depends on the size of your calf basically I have medium sized calves so this 8 foot long thing 8 foot long uh, putty uh, is fairly usable by me but if you have longer one uh, if you have thicker uh, calves uh, you might have to buy an extra pair or a longer one I'm not sure where you can find a longer one, but yeah, it's kind of hard. So basically what you do is you wrap around the first layer, layer, the second layer that is also going, going to go over the top. But when you go to the third layer, you go and you twist it downwards. Don't forget, always downwards. And you go around again. Another downward crisscross, as you can see, it started to form the crisscross, 
another one another one the fourth layer and afterwards I just tie it around normally as you can see like that and of course I there's also this little tie I wrap it around you don't actually need to have these so long you can just cut them off to a certain length because having them so long it kind of is irritating because you have to wrap it around so yeah it's basically done this is how you do it um, it's a fairly easy process guys um, I found to basically do this by myself so I'm pretty sure you guys can do it by yourselves easily um, yeah I hope you liked the video um, I'm hoping to make uh, new videos uh, fairly soon however the problem is is uh, since I have uni and I don't have all my stuff here I won't be making a lot of different types of videos but probably mostly about World War One uh, German reenacting because these this uniform is basically not really suitable even though if I have my replacement M1915 uniform right here it still needs to be changed especially like the color is not correct for reenacting um, you can also see my gear which I will make a video about it pretty soon um, I will planning on buying uh, sold books and extra stuff yeah basically insignia I also have a better M1917 helmet now however the color of this helmet is dreadful you can see it's not the proper German uh, World War One uh, field grey field grey technically it's not field grey it's supposed to be like an apple green color believe it or not most of them were made glossy apple green uh, however there are also examples of them having darker brownish colors uh, yeah, I've seen two or three examples who have painted darker brown colors probably Austrian I think they were made by Austrians but I might be wrong um, yeah I also have the cover I bought the cover from Soldier of Fortune it, it's it it is a fairly small cover I had to uh, wet it down it doesn't really fit it very well it's kind of hot especially the hooks the, the hooks are basically color hooks small color hooks that they use it's terrible never buy these guys I I wasted 20 pounds for this and it's not acceptable uh, if I change the hooks I think it's gonna be better but still it's kind of small for the helmet itself it's, it's just a regular shell size 60 liner probably 68 shell I'm not sure usually these helmets are bigger than the World War II helmets even though the liner is same almost almost the same except the chin strap system uh, yeah um, I hope you like this video I hope you find it uh, information, this information of how I did my putties useful and I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any questions I can ask, I can answer them on the comments below. Um, yeah, to finish it off with the Slav squat is always good, even if you're in the German army. Yeah, see you guys later.